Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happening Today TV. Still talking about the support structure of Peter Ob, especially in the northern part of Nigeria, which most people believe that that is a way to get the required number that will consolidate on the victory of Peter Ob. Nasarawa State have been the focal point for a while right now. A few days ago, we heard that more than three to five thousand residents of Nasarawa State roll out their drums in support of the presidential candidature of Peter O.B. And uh, it was quite shocking because uh, what happened on that day was quite massive. The state chairman of the party, Alexander Emmanuel, came out to tell Nigerians how prepared they are. And he also listed the structures that is already on ground via support groups that will support Peter Obi. And right now, another news coming up still from Nasarawa State is about what will happen on the sixth day of August 2022. That it will be when um, the whole city will be coming out. And we are going to give you full details of that and just to buttress on how far Peter Obi has gone when it comes to you know, support groups and structures for his upcoming election. According to the news, the chairman of Labour Party in Nasarawa State, Alexander Emmanuel, yesterday said plans to organize one million man march to declare total support for the presidential candidate of Vita Obi in Nasarawa State has been concluded. Mm. Speaking to journalists in Lafia on Thursday, the party chairman said commercial activities will be suspended in Lafia and other cities in the state to sensitize, educate and enlighten the party supporters and other citizens of the state on the need to change the political narrative in Nasarawa state. While urging supporters of the party and other Nigerians ready with positive ideas for better Nigeria to come out in mass on August 6, 2022 for the planned one million man match for the party's 2023 presidential candidate, Peter Obi Manuel, who appealed to residents of the state yet to register for their permanent voters card to do so before the deadline on July 31st. 2022, noting that having their voters' card was the only way to vote out bad governance and insecurity, reduce poverty, impunity, and hunger in the land. Well, I mean, this is quite interesting getting to hear that Peter Obi has taken a whole of the entirety of Nasarawa State. Now, just some few days ago, INE came out with the database of you know, people who have registered for permanent voters card fairly recently when there was this rush. It's, they said about 71% of those who have registered are actually youths. And youths are the crux of Peter Obi's support team. Just to let you understand that the future is going to be very clean and clear if we continue to push the way it is going. Now, this is really, really against the interview by the governor of Nasarawa State, talking about Governor Abdullahi Suleiman, who claimed that the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter B, is not even popular in the Nasarawa State, that uh, the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bolame Tinibu, and uh, People Democratic Party are, a, they, they are exceptional, you know, candidate, that those are the people that have... Uh, their fame has spread abroad in, uh, you know, the the uh, northern state or the uh, north central state, talking about Nasarawa state. In his word, he said that he is not even preferred that Peter Obi, when he was interviewed, he said that Peter Obi is not even preferred in Nasarawa state. So I don't know of the country, at the country wide degree, based mostly on what we read through, there are four political functions that are putting undoubtedly the APC, since we are the ruling party, the BDP, due to the fact that they have an, a, a, a great applicant, that Peter Obi was at a single time, was just a single time governor. So he is there also together with Kwan Kwan Soon 
If you look at all these candidates with all feelings of humility, there are only two candidates at the top, and they are Siwa Jubala Metinibu and Atiku Abubakar. That was what he said. But, you know, based on what is going on right now and what we have also seen on the internet pictures and videos of the level of commitment Nasarawa people are giving, then you'll be so sure that what Governor Abdullah he actually said was not the truth because thereafter the, the invasion of uh, you know, uh, sensitization and orientation in respect to Peter B is coming, is becoming very awesome. And they are not just doing it for doing sake by like, you know, throwing dust in the air where you wouldn't find it on the ground. They are going out sensitizing um, household heads, you know, about how to vote. And they showed them the procedure because most of the time that had always been the hindering point. People do not really know, you know, how to vote and how do we go about it and all of that. But they are now taking out time to let people understand how it is done. Now, in Facebook, the whole thing has really spread. I'm telling you, uh, Facebook, um, they, they came out talking about Labour Party. They came out to announce, according to the announced special announcement they gave, they said the Labour Party in Nasarawa State invites and welcome all sons and daughters, lovers and supporters of Peter Obi's presidential presidency for a one million man march in honor of his Excellency Peter Obi in Nasarawa State dead Saturday, 6 August 2022. Time 7.30 a.m. Meeting point, Lafia City Gate. Welcome to Lafia Just Road, Lafia, Nasarawa State. Hmm, said announcer, Central Working Committee, one million man march for Peter Obi Presidency, Labour Party, Nasarawa State. I mean, it's quite interesting to hear all of this happening because it's a pointer to the fact that Things are not going to be the same again. Already Nigerians are tired with the status quo. Someone's still talking about APC and talking about PDP. With what we have seen from 1999 till date, no reasonable, no sane person should be thinking of voting in these people. Apart from anything, we already, we, these are not new breed of guys who are coming in with new ideas. Number one, APC candidate is one and old man who may not have the capacity to stand the pressure of work coming from, you know, a country that has sunk so deep. Because the essence of leadership is for you to pick the country from where it is. If it has not dived as far like Nigeria, you got to pick it from where it is and take it to the mountaintop where it will once again become the light of the world. Now, if you do not have a health intact, how would you be able to follow up on everything so that you can get the required result? It was shocking yesterday when I heard from Erufai, you know, about... Uh, the what uh, the issue of uh, insecurity in Nigeria. He said that the trade that was issued out to him, that's Erofi, and also the presidency. The presidency was not all. President Muhammadu Buhari was not even in the know. When I saw that news on the media, I was so shocked that the president, even when he was being threatened, did not even know that he was being threatened. Which means a lot of things are hidden from him. And I know that the reason why they are doing all of that is because there was to protect his health. Now, he's an old man, so you don't allow everything to just keep bombarding his heart like that because if it does happen, you're going to meet a dead man one day because his, his body, his spirit ought to be resting at this time. So imagine bombarding him with all the negative news thus far in the country. It will bring so much shock to him. So they are keeping a lot of things away from him. So imagine you again, now that the country has not dived thus far, you are bringing in another person who health-wise is not perfect. Why? Because of age. You cannot imagine a man of that age and with, especially when we take into consideration what T. Mark said yesterday, that he is not 70 years, he's about 86 years. Imagine such a man being brought to take over leadership of a country that have sung thus far. And you think that he will be able to run their face? Of course, no. It will be his deputy or vice president that will be in charge, uh, you know. And the vice president here does not believe on a lot of things. I saw a video where he was talking against restructuring. Imagine that. So imagine bringing in such people. Automatically, we will watch Nigeria crash to the, to, to, to the deep of the ground and which will take us off the earth. You understand? So right now, we need someone who can also pick up his phone and see what is happening on the... Social media to know, ah, 
the country is not diving. Oh, this is what I ought to do. This is what I ought to do. You can summon people immediately and say, what is this I am hearing? I saw videos of it. What have you guys done thus far about it? Someone who is young and agile, someone who has held on his side, that's the person we want. And what Nasarawa State is trying to do is pointing Nigeria to a direction that we do not want a leadership that will fail us. We need people have the capacity to lead us. Let's be hopeful that the one million man will man uh, match will help and uh, the sensitization will pull through at least. That will go an extra mile to concretize uh, the presidency of Peter being in the hearts of the Northerners. That will, that's where we would like to leave it. Go to our comment section. Let's interact. What's your position on what is happening in Nasarawa? Thank you very much and stay tuned. <laughs> if it's down.